What's going on guys? Mitch Desk is here, Desk is Strength. And what I'm about to do, I'm about to show you what I'm cooking right now. I got this new segment coming out. I don't want to tell you the name, because it's going to be so good, so awesome. It's going to blow your mind how awesome it is. Now today, I'm feeling under the weather, as you can tell, in my voice, just my appearance. I'm looking not as good as usual. And, uh... Hey, I just woke up this morning, a sore throat, went and got some lozenges, and they really haven't helped too much, so I canceled my training with my clients this morning, probably t today, and, you know, just trying to really relax because, you know, I really exerted a lot of energy these past few weeks, trying to do a lot of things, training, and, and really building uh, this up, and just, oh man, I'm just feeling super wiped out, drained, so let my body recoup. And with that being said, I got a new camera. That's why I'm coming through so clear. Got that HD, baby. HD. High quality definition. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going to show you what I'm going to be cooking. So today with my meals, we have some 97% uh, some fat-free turkey that we're going to be cooking up. I have some 93% uh, fat-free Beef, we've got the broccoli. I already made rice earlier, so we have that all lined up, ready to go. It's already measured out. Have some some bell pepper. I hate the, you know, I like to switch it up. I like to add some color, some variety, so I went with the yellow. We've got some sweet potatoes, they're about five ounces. And what I'll be seasoning my stuff with is this stuff right here, McCormick's Montreal Steak. If you guys haven't had this, you guys are missing out. This stuff is the tits, the bomb. Then obviously, Miss Dash, got some garlic and herb. And then, guys, if you aren't messing with this, if you love hot sauce, I'm telling you right now, this is the best stuff. And if you guys are worrying about the, uh, the sodium, it's not too bad. It's only got 190 milligrams per tablespoon. Guys, if you're worrying, worrying about, if you're really worrying about sodium, don't worry about it. You want at least 18 hundred to two thousand milligrams of sodium for the day you know stop trying to think that you gotta cut your sodium if you're trying to cut down and shred down you don't your body needs that so stop trying to do that it's very idiotic and I and in my opinion it just isn't cool and you shouldn't do it so stay tuned guys I'm about to start shredding this up and we'll see what we got cooking Yeah, you gotta have fun when you cook, guys. You gotta have fun. You gotta enjoy yourselves. You got one life to live. You ain't putting Bob Marley on and getting wild with it. That's probably why I got hate cooking. Because it ain't fun. You gotta make it fun. Woo! It smells real nice. Alright, so we got that cooked up. Mm-hmm. Bell peppers going. Ooh, I feel like a, a young Steven Spielberg right now with this camera. So guys, usually what I do is I put that on about a six. I put it on probably a six. And for those people who think that with their vegetables. It's all nasty. Get, guys, get away from this damn steamables. Stop putting your stop putting your vegetables in the microwave. All you're doing is you're killing all your nutrients. I hate those things. And if you guys hate eating raw vegetables, which I do, and I per personally don't do it, I think, honestly, the best way, the best way to go about it is whenever you've cooked your meat all the way through, you then want to put the vegetables in probably on a two you want to lower that down put it on a two lower it down and then put your vegetables in there let it steam for about five minutes i guarantee you it's gonna be delicious it's gonna be you're gonna soak it you're gonna you're gonna season it you're gonna feel it you're gonna taste all the juices from the meat all right guys we're almost there we almost got that finished product so i threw in some broccoli i cut up some broccoli I would cut up maybe one one of the broccoli heads that you have in there. Threw in some bell pepper. Let's go ahead and season up a little bit of with the Montreal steak. Like I said, guys, if you're really wanting to switch it up and that flavor is getting nasty, try this out. I guarantee you're going to like it. It's going to really make that flavor pop out. It's going to taste real nice. Let's go ahead and put a little bit more of this 
garlic and herb. I'm a big season guy. I can't really do the same thing over and over. I like to switch it up. I like variety. But sometimes, guys, I like it plain. So you're not going to see me always making delicious meals. I'm not going to be on Pinterest making meals, being Rachel Ray or whoever you think. I'm not going to be doing that. I like it simple. I like it easy. And that's just how I like to do my food. And that's just the, what works for me because I like simplicity. I like making it real quick because I'm on the go, guys. I'm on the go. For those people who think that they can't make their food because they're on the go, guys, I'm extremely busy. I wake up at 4 a.m. every single morning during the week. I got to train at 6, but I make it a priority to wake up early so then I can make my food, and then that way I'm good for the whole day. You know, so you got to make you got to make it a priority. And that's really where people get stuck cuz they don't make this a priority. You know, eating, nutrition, everything like that. I already talked about it. It's very important to your overall goals. So if you're not making this a priority, you're not going to see the gains, what you want, come into play. You're never going to see what you want. So we're going to cook this up a little bit. Like I said, guys, the best way to do it is to put it on a two. It's on a two. And then I'm going to put this on for about five minutes. Five minutes, I'm going to let that cook up. And then we're going to see the end result. Here you guys go. The end result. Nice uh, sweet potato. I put, I put a little bit of that cinnamon on there, guys. I get the McCormick cinnamon. Just adds a little flavor, and cinnamon's great for the immune system, especially if you're feeling sick. So that's why I have it on there. Obviously, it's kind of ironic because I'm sick right now. Then we got, obviously, the bell pepper. We got the broccoli. We have the ground turkey. All kind of measured out. I didn't really do too much. I didn't really measure too much out. Um, just because I'm sick and I'm, I've really been burning a lot of calories. I haven't really focused too much on measuring everything out specifically so I haven't done too much with that so guys that's it I'm gonna leave you with one thing one thing and I think you're gonna like it the name of my cooking channel that's about to come up of the cooking that I'm gonna do and I'm not just gonna make this boring old bull crap things that you see here because you're probably like Mitch that doesn't even look good well guys it is pretty good at least to me but I'm going to be showing you how to make healthy cuisine that's going to be macro friendly, that's going to allow you to still lose weight, but still enjoy your food, and it's not going to take too much time. And that show is called Chef Boyar Mitchy D. And for all my friends out there who used to call me Mitchy D, there it is. It's coming from there, and it fits perfectly, guys. That's the name of the show. I'm going to leave you with that. And also, like my stuff, comment, subscribe, and holla at your boy.